All right. Sorry about that. So we were talking about the decline mid-course corrections. This is very important because this is a time where teachers are able to look and observe and see what the students are needing to be um, to learn more about. So let's say a student is struggling with pronouns. Instead of stopping in the middle of whole group, we can make note and then put that student into the pronouns MTSS support group. So we're not taking away from whole group teaching. We have smaller intervention groups, and we also have an enrichment for students excelling. The level two evidence here is administrator evaluations. They have the same, are ensuring that all the teachers have the same lessons that are followed daily. They just have different ways of teaching the lessons. Observations that will show effective teaching, and we have 30 second feedback. So the teachers are getting immediate feedback and it's not a long formal observation. It's just a quick, hey, this is what I see you doing and this is what I like and this is maybe what you can work upon. We have pre professional development that's offered weekly by instructional coaches and we have expectations for effective teaching. We have guidelines that have been set by our admin and our building principles also verify that teaching that it's being done. Implementation of this. All employees will choose one enrichment activity that they love and one strength they have in teaching. So mine, for instance, could be um, yoga is an enrichment activity that I love. And one strength in teaching might be how to teach um, the stages of a cell dividing. So I could go from either teaching yoga one time, or I could go and help students to be able to learn more about cell division. Um, this is ultimately up to the principal and he, they decide what needs to be taught. So if students um, already know cell division and we only have two students that need that, we probably won't be teaching that at the time. The schedules are set in each grade level. Students are placed in a groups based on their ability levels. We choose the best intervention for each student. Teacher groups also choose these, not just the administrators. I'm sorry. Parents sign the, a form of what the student expectations should look at, and the teachers also sign the form. This is holding them accountable for the effective teaching. Monitoring the initiative, we have observations that happen weekly for every teacher, including paraprofessionals and substitutes. We have curriculum notes that our curriculum director and our instructional coaches look at to ensure that they have looked at their curriculum every week and are following it. We have notes that are added weekly. We have reviews of lessons made by the instructional coaches. We also have a curriculum review team that goes onto each curriculum document and ensures that they are following it and doing what they're needing to do. Leadership skills needed for this are the leader needs to be organized have clear communication, be motivated, be a delegate, be positive and creative. Thank you so much for viewing and I hope you've enjoyed.